Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is really just an open wrap about life and if you're going through a tough time, then you'll definitely want to listen to this one. Let's jump in. What's up y'all? Welcome back. So today I wanted to get on here and do more of a mindset video, but really just kind of openly rap about a lot of things that you may be experiencing that I know you're not alone if you are because I am and that's kind of the genesis uh, of this video and to give you some context. So I am an online fitness coach and I do this full time and I recently have had a couple clients drop out, which is totally natural, but for whatever reason, it's kind of triggered some deep like old wounds and I found myself going into this real negative pattern of thinking and starting to question myself and doubt myself if you know I should give the whole thing up right I go to these extremes and I realized that it kind of triggered this response to be in for me uh, freezing or disassociation usually with like weed or video games or something like that I didn't do any of that stuff I kind of just sat with the pain or, uh, or flight and that was the whole like, damn, maybe I should just go back and get a normal job and go do whatever. So I'm bringing this video up just to kind of speak openly and authentically and really say a couple of reminders to you that you may already know. A lot of the times when I do these mindset videos, I'm talking to myself and I'm really just coaching myself, but what I have found is when I'm real, when I'm vulnerable, when I'm going through shit, I know for a fact I'm not the only one going through stuff and part of what I wanna do with this channel is develop a community and a place of understanding that yes, it's about fitness, it's about taking care of your mind and your emotions and your mental, uh, or in your physical health. It's also about your mental and emotional and really spiritual health too. You know, knowing your purpose, knowing that uh, there are ways to kind of work through some of these difficult emotions and I can kind of share with you what has worked for me. And I'm still coming out of it to be honest, but again, that's the whole point of this video is really to coach myself, but also impart value to you that maybe you need to hear this message today. So as I was being triggered, damn man, I went down into some real dark thinking. And for me, uh, in the past, I've been suicidally depressed, uh, like seriously suicidally depressed about, you know, probably twice in my life. One was after this really bad breakup and toxic relationship. The other one was during COVID um, when we were all isolated, triggered some like childhood abandonment shit for me. And I went real deep and you know, this whole nobody cares thing, I just wanna give up, nobody gives a shit. So it's been interesting. Um, so if you're going through depression, I understand what you are feeling, what you're going through. I have ch been challenged with it in the past. And you know, depression is an interesting thing because it really is us focusing, at least for me what it was, is experiencing a trigger that triggered some old pain from growing up or an old story or event. And then instead of reflecting and recognizing that I'm just in this old episode emotionally, to kind of dwell in it and continue to sit in that energy. And um, thank God, I'm, I mean, I'm working with another coach and I had a session today with her, uh, you know, perfect timing. Because after I lost those couple of clients for the past like 48 hours, I was going into this real dark place. And she reminded me of how far I've come because something like a trigger like that would have maybe knocked me off for a week and I would have gone really, really downhill. It only lasted for about 48 hours and then we kind of talked about some things and I went to the gym and had a good workout and then have kind of shifted. So what's the value here? What's the point here? So I will say this, if you're going through depression right now or a tough time, you have to understand that this is inevitable. This is a reminder that if you've experienced something or are experiencing something right now that's very, very difficult in your life and you can't seem to break out of the funk, you may be triggered into an old trauma and emotional episode and you need to just recognize that first and foremost you're entitled to feel however you want because man i was feeling like shit and i just kind of went off and like vented to my sister in a text message a little bit and sent her all this crazy dark shit and that's how i kind of realized i i recognize for me i'm usually in a traumatic episode or uh i'm disassociating a shit when i start to think about really dark stuff um and that's what i was sending her and i i recognized that i was like okay and so if you are in an episode, like you're triggered, you're in some trauma, you're feeling depressed or whatever, and you're having trouble getting out of a funk, 
first of all, just recognize it. You don't have to do anything with it. You don't have to do anything about it. And you can feel like shit as long as you want, you know? But I will say this, the longer and the deeper that you go down, the harder it is to pull yourself out. But I just wanna say that because I know that when we're triggered and we feel like shit, we don't wanna hear anything from anyone and trying to hear messages from people who are trying to say this positive bullshit, it just sounds just like that. It's like, dude, get the fuck out of here. You don't know how I'm feeling. You don't understand. Like, I don't need to hear any of that shit. We just don't hear anything because we're in this emotional pain and when we're in that emotional pain. Anything trying to take us out of that funk, um, it, it, we just don't hear that stuff. But I think just recognizing that it may be a possibility, maybe you're completely fine, um, but if you are, again, experiencing something and you're having trouble getting out of a, an emotional funk and you feel like shit, and you're sad or you're angry or whatever, just recognize that it's a possibility you might be in that. And just by recognizing with it, it allows you to kind of step out of the emotion a little bit and go, fuck, man, what's this about? What am I feeling about? And it just allows you to examine it and just kind of like start to, I guess, uh, separate the energy and not allow yourself to go on this traumatic like thinking thought pattern and shit. At least that's what it did for me. Uh, one other thing I'll say is if you are and you do recognize that and you've got to it, you may think nobody gives a shit, but it's important that you reach out to people. And I know it's the last thing you want to do. Trust me, like my thing is I get triggered and I cocoon. And I don't want to talk to anyone. I never reach out. I never talk to anyone. I'll shut everyone off. But then you're just sitting in your own head, dwelling and intensifying the negative bullshit that you're going through. So, you know, whether it's a friend or a family member or a therapist or anybody really like even just go in chat rooms if you don't have anyone or don't feel comfortable. Or even if you just journal to yourself, just vent that shit and get it out. Like you've got to get it out so that you can kind of, again, just put it on the side so you're not so deeply in the painful emotions that you may or may not be experiencing. That's what helps me. So I would say, again, recognize that you may be in an episode, vent to somebody or yourself and journal this shit. And then what really helped me was, yes, it was my coach this morning, but I also, um, you know, yesterday I was just exhausted. Also, that's another trigger too. If you're super tired, you just slept all day. I did need a day of rest though. And then today I was going to give up my workout again, even though uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, I'm training to compete in, bo in a bodybuilding competition. I really can't take days off my workouts and I don't necessarily want to, right? That was the old, that was like the painful version of me. Like, I don't give a fuck. None of this matters. I'm not going to do shit. I'm just going to sit around. I'm going to eat like shit. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter. I get how you feel if you're in there. Trust me. Um, but starting to snap out of it, I was like, I can't remember. I think I saw something from my coach or somebody else, something that somebody posted. And I said, and I remember, I was like, you know what? The best thing I can do. And the reason I love working out so much is because for me, it's always a safe place and has been to outlet the anger, the feelings, the emotion, all these things. So you may not go to the gym or that may not be an outlet for you. But what I would say is this. Um, go for a walk. Just get outside. Just get out of your immediate surroundings. Don't sit in your room in your house. And again, I know if it's triggering shame and guilt and stuff, it's the last thing that you want to do is be seen. You may want to shrink into oblivion and never be seen or talk to anyone again because that's how I feel. But just by getting out in the fresh air, and you can go put in headphones, man. Put your hood on and go walk around the block. You don't have to talk or look to anybody. You know, put off that like stay the fuck away from me vibe. That's okay. But just by you getting out of your immediate surroundings, again, it's just getting some energy in you in order to kind of get away from this thing that you're experiencing. If you do want to take it like a level two thing that you could do and you don't want to go to the gym and you're, you know, you're not someone who works out and stuff hop down and do either do like a hundred jumping jacks and it sounds stupid, but do a hundred jumping jacks or literally do 50 burpees or like crank out pushups until you scream. If you're angry and you just like get that physical energy out, hold a plank and sit there. I recommend actually moving like jumping jacks or burpees. Cause when dude, when you sit there all of a sudden you're out of breath and like you're so angry and pissed off or sad when you're out of breath that you're like about to puke because you just did 300 jumping jacks or 50 burpees, you all of a sudden, it's crazy. You're like not really thinking about the all the pain and stuff or whatever episode you're in. And I get it. Again, it's probably the last thing you want to do if you're watching this and you're feeling like that. Um, but it is one of the most beneficial things you can do. So just to reiterate, just identify, recognize that it may be something that you're in. Um, and... <clears throat> go and work out or do some type of physical activity <clears throat> and then reach out to someone, vent to somebody. I got you. Take a drink. Here. Hold on. Reach out to somebody. Talk to somebody. Talk to yourself. 
you know, do do some therapy, do some online therapy, right? Like <clears throat> better help is a real real thing right now. I, I haven't had any success with that. That's one other story though. <clears throat> but um, do a couple of those things. I promise you, you will start to um, feel better because that's all that it is when we get into that state. It's like you're just stuck in an old traumatic, you know, old pain basically. And then what's kind of helped me all of a sudden that I've realized is, um, and this is where I usually get to, when I get to the bottom of my like depression and episodes, you know, I'll go through this whole like suicidal, I passive suicidality and like suicidal ideation. Like, fuck, I'm over this. I just want to give it up. I don't care about any of this stuff. I, am I even helping someone and you know, or am I even going to be successful? Can I even do this? Oh, it's all bullshit. After I go through all that stuff and then I recognize it. And this is what happened in 2020 when I was like rock bottom. Um, I realized this, like in the end, you can feel however you want to feel and you're entitled to, but you have to also understand this is that no one's going to save you. Like your feelings and your pain, it fucking sucks. Whatever you've been through, whatever you're being triggered on, it sucks and it's unfair and it's all that shit and you're allowed to feel however you want to feel. And you have to realize that eventually the only way you can get out of it is to pull yourself out of it and it fucking sucks, you know, but you, it really is what it is. Like, they're your feelings. It's your pain. Even though you didn't cause it or trigger it or you grew up real shitty and you didn't deserve for all that stuff to happen to you, you're the one that has to deal with the pain and the suffering and the trauma now. And it's not fair and it's super shitty and I get it and I go through the same thoughts. But at the end of it, you have to realize, or at least for me, that um, you know no one's coming to save you. So like for me, I'll use my example um, to kind of give some perspective. It's like, you know, I get triggered um, just growing my business right now and I lose a couple of clients. I get real triggered about money and then it triggers this old survival and scarcity mindset and I go into this old like trauma and shit of like being a helpless kid and all this stuff and growing up poor and that's what can trigger my trauma. And then, so I can sit in that and then I realize like eventually I come out and I go, bro, nobody's gonna drop clients in your lap. Nobody's going to make money for you. Like you're a grown ass man you've got to put your big boy pants on and fucking take care of it because no one's going to take care of it for you. And I wouldn't want anyone to take care of it for me, right? Um, and you wouldn't either. That's the thing is like, because then you're not really growing and learning to stand on your own two feet. You're not learning to be the person that you're meant to be. You're just relying on other people to come and save you or fix you or whatever the fuck. And it's not cool because what also happens with that is because then you come dependent on the opinions and thoughts of other people as well. So that's really it. You've got to be the one to pull yourself out. It really fucking sucks, but reach out to people, recognize you may be you know, triggered and going through some shit and um, journal to yourself and then just get some physical activity going. Even though I get it, you don't wanna fucking talk to anyone, you don't wanna do anything, you don't wanna exercise. It's like fuck the world and fuck everybody, nobody cares. Cause that's the mindset and I get it. Like I said, you know, I just wanna end it, I'm over it. But um, you got to be your own savior, and that's what a lot of this stuff is about. So it's a pretty vulnerable conversation, you know, and to share it on the video. But that's what I want to do with this channel because I know what I've gone through, and I know that I'm not going through the, I'm not the only one going through it, especially nowadays, um, where there's a lot more mental health awareness and things like this. And I want to promote physical fitness and health, but this is so important. This is the mental and emotional health because unless you're you learn how to basically one of my old coaches used to say become a self-cleaning oven because no one's going to clean that oven for you if you feel fucked up and it's nasty inside you got to become a self-cleaning oven so that's part of what this is about you've got to get your mind and your emotions and your heart in the right place get your body in the right place and that's what all this is about it's about personal improvement in different ways and um you know i wanted to get on here and be vulnerable and share this conversation because again i know that i'm not the only one we all go through a lot of bullshit. a lot of people just don't talk about it uh, but I've been there, man. I've been to the depths. Um, I've been to the depths. Like I've been to the point of like brink of like ending it myself, like less than five hours away from the end of a rope type thing. And I've never attempted it because I know that I'm such an extreme person that if I did, I wouldn't be here right now. Um, but it was, yeah, some crazy spiritual stuff that kind of came through and um, I'll share some other videos. But I want to remind you that you're not alone, even though it feels like it. People do care about you even though you feel like no one gives a fuck. But in the end, you have to be the one to pull yourself out. So I hope this helps you. And whoever is watching this message, 
shit, you know, I wasn't gonna make any of this stuff and talk about it, but um, it's funny on like, I did like a YouTube short or something about like, I didn't feel like working out today, I did it anyways, and some guy randomly commented, he's like, dude, thanks for posting this, I wasn't gonna play basketball today, but I ended up doing it, and I was like, fuck, see, dude, this is why you gotta do it, because if it just affects one person to get going, then it really is what matters, so, um, I love you, man, I hope you're okay, and if you're not, it's okay not to be okay, uh, hopefully some of this stuff helps, just get out, go outside for a walk, get some fresh air, right, talk to someone, reach out, um, and yeah, man, I hope it helps, um, always reach out to me, shit, I always put my email up, leave comments, whatever, uh, and that's pretty much it, my battery's about to run out, but I'll be making more videos, so, I'll see you soon, peace.